On last week's show, Wilderness Muskie Hunt Part 1, the boys and I headed up to northern Wisconsin on a four-day wilderness camping and muskie adventure. Baby, that's what I'm talking about. Chasing muskies and sleeping under the stars is just what we needed, and we were up for a wilderness trip. On the first day, we put two awesome muskies in the boat, and it looked like our trip was starting off on the right foot. Day two, we'd start right where we left off. The big guy in the back of the boat was schooling Mike and I. He was putting on a clinic. And that's where we pick up the rest of the story. Wilderness Muskie Hunt, part two. Outdoors Online Magazine is brought to you by Jack Daniels, Foley Bellsoft, Great Clips, Yard Craft Boats, Joe's Sporting Goods. Sugar maple, tended with care. It's not ash he's after, but fine charcoal. Charcoal to be packed 10 feet deep. Takes days for the just made whiskey to trickle through, making every drop smoother. Something different than bourbons and other whiskey. A process unique to the land from which it comes. Tennessee. It's not just the place, it's the way. the best value in haircuts. Just walk into any of our 2,700 salons today and you'll see why there's no better time than now to give us a try. Everybody's talking. Everybody's talking. Walk right in. Sit right down. Baby, let your hair hang down. Relax, you're at Great Clips. Hey everybody, welcome back to Keys Outdoors. Day two up here in northern Wisconsin, doing a little adventure muskie hunt. We're camping and we're having a blast. Four fish in the boat already. Some really nice fish and opportunities that we just didn't score on, but we're gonna go back on those fish later on. Basically what we're doing is we're working mid-lake structure. And the body of water that we're on is like Wisconsin's only shield type style lake very rocky, all rock based. 
And if you can find these rock outcroppings with weeds on them, that's where these fish are hanging. They're hanging right in these small weed patches. Muskies. They like it big here. So we're going to feed them some big lures. Hopefully they will bite, eat, feed their hunger. Well, as you can see, Mike and my pile up here, we've been trying every lure we have slowly, gradually working our way up. And then we'll take a look now at Dave's pile, who uh, has caught two fish already. And uh, this is a couple. Where's your pile at, bro? It's on my rod. <laughs> <laughs> that sums it up, it's on his rod. Well guys, it's day two of our adventure. Um, first night here we we were out for a few hours had a few hours the first night and we had a full day today about a two the first night two today and uh, we've got uh, sun sunset coming up here hopefully we can nail uh, a couple more actually we moved two fish that uh, were very active and we've actually had a great day great start to the trip we're, we're expecting some big things here in the next couple days so I don't know just it's summertime the water heats up like this fish get active they got to eat a lot so stick with us and uh, we're going to hopefully uh, show you some more big fish action Pocket. Must be pockets. You guys gotta be real careful in here. You lose a lower unit. Quick hurry. Ruin your day. Drive slow. Water levels up. About four foot this year. Boy, she'd be scary if he got something. Wouldn't be good. Wouldn't be good at all. Right there with it, get ready, get ready. Oh man, it was a hook. He felt the hook, though. Huh? He felt the hook. Well, he had a wake, but I don't know. watching a little too much you know I felt just a just a prick out let me just toss a little
Nine o'clock at night, day two. Boy, we just had a fish uh, opportunity that we didn't score on, but it was cool action. But that's the way it goes, Mike, eh? It's part of the game. That's the way it did go for me. Poor at best. But it was cool to see. Yeah, it was. Hey, we have no complaints. So what do you think for tomorrow? What are you guys thinking? Hit the same stuff that we've been hitting? Yeah, they're uh, definitely on the uh, mid leg structure. Um. Well, we haven't even touched any of this up here. I mean, yeah. I would like, what I would like to do tomorrow, I'd like to go hit those spots right away and then let's go look for some different stuff well, that hasn't we, been touched. Yeah, three, four different fish on these same bars. Right, exactly, you know? exactly. But we are hunting now for a big fish. Yeah. And I think that big fish is, I think, going to be relative to the river channel, yeah. not far off of it. It could we, come from this island. I mean, this thing butts right. up against the river channel. Yeah, we didn't fish that this back side of this know. island. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Pretty excited about tomorrow. Where do I go to buy all my outdoor gear? Everyone knows it's Joe's. For over 80 years, Joe's has been serving outdoor enthusiasts like you and me in Minnesota and Wisconsin. Joe's has a huge selection of top name musky gear and excellent customer service. You can shop online or visit the store. That's why Joe's is your outdoor expert. There's another one going in the bag. Got her. Yeah. Way to go. I double dog dare you, man. Muskie Innovation's new bait. You'd be able to get this one if it's not a set for us, bro. Sweet. Hey guys, can't get enough Keys Outdoors? Then you're going to want to check out Keys Outdoors online magazine. It's free and it's easy. Just go to keysoutdoors.com and click on the online magazine button and you're in. The magazine is packed full of awesome articles written by some of the top pros in the industry. Learn new tactics, new techniques, and new places to go. So check out Keys Outdoors online magazine. Like I said guys, it's free and it's easy. Everybody. It's day three. Uh, we're setting up on the first spot. We raised two fish off of this one bar last night, so uh, hopefully we're going to stick one of them right away here this morning. It's going to be hot, hot day. And that's got these fish moving. Boy, she almost took that. Huh? Yeah, yep. She nipped at it a couple times. Not super aggressive. Yeah. Probably about 38. Nail a big one. Mikey's throwing big red up there. That's been the hot bait. He actually beat me up this morning for it. Rough one. My shoulder hurts bad. But uh, I feel pretty confident from the back of the boat with the old super helper. Well, it's the afternoon of the third day. It's been kind of tough, actually. We've uh, moved one fish today. We got a little bit of a cold front that moved in. Some dark clouds. Temperatures kind of dropped a little bit, not too much. But um, trying some new stuff, um, trying some big mid-leg rock bars and stuff. That's uh, 
just something different than what we've been normally doing because the normal spots we've been fishing just haven't been panning out for us. So when that happens, try something else. When you're throwing rock structures, you want to make sure that your hooks are constantly filed. Um, you know, you're just, especially shallow water, we're getting snagged up and, you know, it's just not good. It dulls those, those tips and, you know, these fish are hard enough to catch. That's why a good hook file job, you know, increases your odds. And typically what, what we do is how do we know if they're sharp? You take your fingers like this and what we do is just real gently, we just kind of rub them across our fingers. And what we call it, we call it being sticky. When she just grabs that, that skin with hardly any effort, you know that you've got razor sharp hooks. And that's one way of doing it. Again, just kind of rub your fingers across and you'll feel it grab. And that's a, a good file job. You want to constantly stay on top of that when you're working rock structure like we are here. So we're going to get back to work. You know, we got a lot of stuff happening for us right now. Majors, minors, all that, but no fish. So we moved one fish earlier and uh, hopefully we'll get a bite here. I think we will. Things just going ballistic, man. Let's bust her humper. <laughs> oh, baby. Not real, baby. Nice fish, though. You ready, long way? Hey, hey. Boy, it's been a long day, but. We worked it like we just said two minutes ago, try something different. We went to some middle lake stuff. We actually drove over the structure, checked it, iconed it, and come back down it, bang, fish. Awesome. Oh, I mean, we laid out each end of the rock pile, sliding right back down it. Like I said, bang, we got them. Now there's another rock pile. I'm out of breath. Top water paid Top off. Top water paid off. We've been throwing the top water has been great so you just nailed one here on a super humper <laughs> oh boy here we are not super big but boy it just crushed that top water it's fun, we were searching around for a nice fish. And there we go, it's number five of the trip. Good deal. What happened to its gill? He had a cut gill beforehand here. But he's still, fish are tough. Still going. Let's get him get it back in the water. Yeah. 
and welcome to the Milwaukee Muskie Expo. Remember guys, we only do this show once a year, February 11th, 12th, and 13th. I want you to be there. We have new exhibitors, great seminars this year, boats, a lot of things happening all under one roof, and I guarantee you'll learn something new this year. Well everybody, welcome back to Keys Outdoors. It's getting to be the end of our great adventure up here in the North Country. And what a trip it's turned out to be. It's uh, it's getting to be that time, Dave. We're gonna look at moving on here. Um, but we are hunting still till dark for one bite, and that's yeah. the bite we're looking for is a big one. It's been fun. Yeah, it has. And I'll tell you what, you know, these are the adventures that you guys can do out there by yourself. I mean a lot of these lakes in northern Wisconsin have campgrounds on them with islands and uh, it's a neat way to do it and I'm glad that we did it. We had a lot of fun and uh, we're kind of into that kind of thing. Um, and now it's just a matter of uh, looking for that closed fish, that, that last fish that we're all going to sit there and get really excited about. We know they're in here. Uh, we just haven't ran across her yet. Time is running out but we always like a challenge, so stay tuned and hopefully we'll put it together. One more fish, a big one. Yep. Here we go. I saw the big boil out there. That's a big fish, Dave. <laughs> oh, just see what happened, man. <laughs> we just raised this fish on a top water. Mike raised him. I flung back. I says, I think he's back here. We nailed him. We got him. Awesome. Man, I've been just lucky. <laughs> oh, man. He just drilled it. 
Nice fish too. Looks like about a 42 or something like that, Mike, maybe? Yeah, Thick fish. Been just lucky. Just goes to show, don't be afraid to be in the back end of the boat. <laughs> no, not if you're Dave Brown. <laughs> <laughs> here, let me see if he wants this. <laughs> right back here. Right back here. Oh, boy. Right. boy there's, there's nothing, you know, they don't give me any credit on skill. It's always, you got a golden horseshoe up here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> job on the trip. Huh? Take my cousin's fish off. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll fix his bait for him too. Straighten some hooks out. Don't touch that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dandy fish. Fish number six of the trip. There she is. Right at dark point we've been having lots of lots of action right towards the evening. I think it was a dandy. He came up on top water first and then we came back in with a bucktail and he just crushed it. Nice fish. Real nice fish. Get up here. Get up here. I don't want to know the story. I keep him away from that. Boy, we just were on the spot. Another muskie. Another huge one. Man. All right, Mike. <laughs> the players are right by him, actually. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Fish number seven. I didn't even get my hook set back up, and we got another one. All right. Fish number seven, guys. Another nice fish. Nothing huge, but... Uh... Well, that's a wrap. Seven muskies in three days, camping under the stars with the boys. It just doesn't get any better than that. Another one for the books. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you all next week. Keys Outdoors online magazine has been brought to you by Jack Daniels, Foley Belsaw, Great Clips, Yarcraft Boats, Joe's Sporting Goods. The official taxidermist of Keys Outdoors online magazine is Lax Reproductions.